Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved ones, today is 13th day of November, being Saturday, and we're 32 in all night time of the church calendar. And today, being Saturday, we celebrate our Blessed Virgin Mary. Our reading will be coming from the book of Wisdom, chapter 18, verse 14 to 16, chapter 19, verse 6 to 9. A response of Psalm will come from Psalm 105, verse 5a. A gospel message will come from Luke Gospel, chapter 18, verse 1 to 8. The theme of our message today is God will vindicate us. Our God will vindicate us. Jesus was making his disciples to understand that their own God will vindicate them. And now I begin to tell them about a parable why they should continue praying without looking back until they achieve their purpose. Continuous prayer, not giving up until you achieve the purpose for which you are praying for. And now I told them the parable of to the effect that there was, that there was a certain judge who neither fear man, nor regard man or fear God. And that time there was a certain widow who was coming to him for asking him to vindicate him against his adversaries. He refused initially. But after he thought to himself, said, I better vindicate this woman because if I didn't, he will worry me by his continual coming here. And just say, Look at what the righteous judge, who said, I neither fear God nor regard for men, said, A woman continually coming to him, he will wear him out. Because of that, he vindicated her. And God is now asking me and you, or God is asking us, if this unrighteous judge, you could say this. We not have God vindicate us. And vindicate us more speedily for all who call upon him day and night. That's a great encouragement for me and you. If you call upon him day and night, we will vindicate you. Now why he says there is a great power in prayer. But sometimes we are tired of our prayer. As you say, we can do anything on our own. An umbrella of the year 2021 was a testimony. The heaven revealed that if we don't pray, an umbrella will be taken over. And they will rubbish an umbrella state worse than that of Himo state. And for that, God, people go different prayed. The church that they prayed, the priest that they prayed, messages were celebrated, calling on the most high God. And He vindicated us. And the election was calm, everywhere was calm. No person was wounded at all, more, what more, killing any person. And the election was free and fair. And everybody went on joyfully. That what they prepared for us didn't happen because we prayed. So you can be, you can regret praying for God in all situations. He knows what to do. And now what is reminding us today that our God will vindicate us. But Jesus asked that our God will vindicate us when he comes. Will he see any faith on earth? That's the question. It's asking me and you, will he see any person on? With the, the level we're going today, we, when God comes, will he see any person of faith? Will he see faith on, in us on earth? And many people are not denying God, believing they don't need God to do what they want to do or to live their life. But our own God will vindicate us if we, have, if we call upon him day and night. So don't be tired of your prayer. Say your prayer in the morning. Before you go out, say your prayer before you go to bed every day. You won't regret it. Talk to God, discuss with him other activities when you come back, thank him for what he has done. And commend yourself into his hand that night again because the night is, you, you can't underestimate what in the night could be. That's why I say continuous prayer. And now why today the book of wisdom revealed to us why there was gentle silence envelop all things and night in this swift course was now half gone. Things were normal, going well. 
Your all powerful word leaped from heaven, from the loyal throne, into the midst of the land that was doomed. Land that was doomed. Land that never knew God. Land that never called upon God. Land that never think about God. They were doomed because they abandoned God. And they say, warrior carrying the sharp sword of your authentic command, of your authentic command of God, stood, filled all things with death, filled all the evil things with death, and touched heaven while standing on the earth. He said, because for the whole creation was fashioned in its nature anew. You see? When you are in God, you discover you become a new creation, Paul will tell us. The whole creation was fashioned that new. And all the dirties have to be removed. And he said, how does that happen? Comply with your command that your children might be kept on harm. Do you see it? The people of God, in all these deaths, we do not harm them. That's the great mistake we make during the COVID-19. Instead of to know that this will not harm us, that we all need to do is to pray to God and trust in God. We allow the, the, the evil and the manipulation of the evil ones to overtake us. We started worshiping COVID-19. Abandoning prayer to talk about COVID-19. Instead of talking about the Jesus crucified and the resurrected Jesus, we begin to talk about COVID-19. And COVID-19 overtook the verse of the people of God. We started living in fear. We started living, being terrorized, left and right. We even stop activities in the church because of COVID-19. We begin to do many awful things in the church because of COVID-19. On the pretense, we are, we are trying to keep the rules of COVID-19. You see how it troubles us. When you abandon the faith, you see why you end up. You enter into the hand of everyone who turn you upside down and you leave you confused. We remain confused. This is the way the evil one colonizes people, colonizes nation. I colonized many of us this time around. We are now bound in the church like the Chinese people. It's part of colonization. We are no more embracing ourselves. We are no more shaking hands. We are now bound like Chinese people. That's colonialism actualized. We are now receive communion in the hand like slaves. It's no more the source and summit of our faith. That's when faith has disappeared. The evil one turns you upside down. And worse, people who are in this state never recognize they're already going down. They're already going to the damnation. They're even telling you that they're authentic people, making a mockery of the Eucharist, Eucharistic Jesus. The crowd was seen overshadowing the camp, the crowd of the wonders of God. Dry land, the march where there was War up big water before and don't hinder that way out of the Red Sea now. When God is there, when we are in Him, all the four things will disappear. The glory of God, Shekinah glory of God will overshadow everything in us. He said, They will not glaze the, in the grazy plain out of the raging waves. We have not a grazy plain out of the raging waves. Turning sorrows to joy, mourning into celebration, hatred into love, life into death, causes into blessing. That's the way you vindicate us if we remain in Him. Where those protected by your hand pass through as one nation, after grazing in a marvelous wonders, after grazing in a marvelous wonders, for they will range like horses. And live like lamb. Celebration. You, O oh Lord, who deliver them. They will celebrate your deliverance from them. Because they believed in you. They depended upon you. That's the mark we missed at the COVID-19. Now it's ravaging the whole world. Who don't know God. Who don't believe God and cannot believe God. The initiators are people who don't believe God. The people that are terrorizing people who don't believe in God. They can't terrorize the people of God, for sure. Because our God will vindicate us. And that's what the psalmist who understood this so well today, they say, remember the wonders the Lord has done. Remember the wonders the Lord has done to encourage you to resist the evil ones who are moving around, moving like, like a roiling lion, looking for someone to devour. 
Stand up. The boat. Peter said, stand up in faith against him. Resist him with faith. And he will run away. That's what we lack in our own generation of COVID-19. And they still ravaging us. When they fail to kill us with the disease, they are now killing us with vaccine. No, we know what they're planning next. And people are crumbling under them. Forgetting the utter and finish of our being. Forgetting the wonder the Lord has done in our lives. And that's why today on Sunday we celebrate a blessed mother who had the word of God, surrendered to the word of God, and divine plan in her life sustained her. And he said, blessed. God has looked on the lowliness of her handmaid. Henceforth, all generations will call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done great thing for me, and holy is his name. He shows his mercy from generation to generation to those who fear him. That's a blessed mother. A testimony of people who God will vindicate if they remain in him. We will ask God to help us through high intercession that we remain faithful to God so that he will vindicate us in the days of sorrows. We ask through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us. I will celebrate a God who vindicates us. In the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all.